morning, my name is Susan Jane and I am the Intuitist. And today I'm going up one of the little Tariga trees, Tariga trees, I think that's how you say it, um, on the creek, from the creek. Um, the tide's still coming in so it's floating me along quite nicely, which means I don't have to paddle, <laughs> as long as I don't crash. Uh, and I wanted to explain to you <laughs> what I am doing. So the thing is, uh, I've been paddling on the creek here and, and really enjoying the surrounds. As you can see, it's so surreal, serene. It's just beautiful, the fish are moving, things are happening, there's a lot of bird life around. And I just love being out here this time of the morning and enjoying what we have in this wonderful world. But as I've done that, I've realized that I wanted to share it with others. And I wanted to share my peace with it and why I'm doing what I'm doing. The biggest thing is I come out here for my space, my time. Now I've talked to you before about when you wanted to, to prepare to develop your intuition, we look at meditation and, and things like that. This is my form of active meditation. So it just, it's my space, it's my time, it's my environment and I have an open mind and I can go where I want to go and look at what I want to do. One of the things I really enjoy, I'm going to go down this way today, one of the things I really enjoy is just having that space. So in, in one of the other blogs I've talked about the three main elements to prepare for when you want to connect with your intuition. Look at the reflection on that, isn't it gorgeous? Um, so the three areas are giving yourself the time to do things like this or meditate, giving yourself the space, um, having your own little private space and uh, as you can see there's not a lot of people around here and having an open mind about it. So um, as I'm going along here I, I just allow my thoughts and my ideas to just develop and grow and, and I look at things like that beautiful re reflection and I sort of just I'd love to paint that, but I'm not a very good artist, but I would still love to paint that. Whether I'm a good artist or not is irrelevant. It's still just allowing my creative juices to flow. So as I've gone along and, and I've done this and I've watched the, the water, at the moment we're coming on, we're on a high tide, it's just coming in, but it does go higher than this, like all that there, that grass was underwater in the big high tides, really high tides. Um, so it's just really, it's the same space but it changes every time, it changes all the time. If it's low tide when I'm coming out, um, we're a couple of feet lower than what we are at the moment so all that is all, all exposed. So where I'm going with this is it's just, I wanted, I found my space, I found some time but it's so beautiful I wanted to share it with others as well. So. I thought the best way to share that is to share it with my intuitive nature site um, and it's all about developing, uh, connecting, developing, trusting and then applying your intuition into everyday life. So I've got online courses that I want to share um, and put out there for people at all different levels. So different levels of your intuition will bring in different um, aspects. and. I just thought this was the perfect place to talk about them. Now I'm doing it in this way because um, things are jumping behind me. I'm doing it this way because <laughs> it's early in the morning, I have no makeup on, I'm in my swimmers and I have no intention of doing selfies. So <laughs> I figured this was a prettier way to look at the world around me and this, these views, this serenity is what's encouraged me to connect more so with my intuition so that's my plan so I'm, I'm going to bring to you little creek capers little um, stories about intuition little areas about intuition on the nice days on the not so nice days I'll use it as a, a workout like I normally do but on days like this when it's so peaceful and so pretty um, I want to just help you enjoy it and maybe it's your space that you just need to chill out for a bit unwind enjoy the beauty enjoy the surroundings just just watch the water flow it's just such a pretty pretty space in time and 
it's allowing me to be me. I just love it. Just love it. I hope you enjoy it. So these are going to be our, our little stories. So I'll bring to you all little aspects of intuition. I hope it helps. I hope it gives you an understanding of what um, I perceive as intuition, what I see it is. It, it, take on board what you want to take on board. Let go of the rest. Please don't. You don't have to follow everything I say and do because we're all different and that's, that's what is the beauty of it all. So that is what this, these creek capers are all about. That's what these, um, these little stories are all about and why you keep seeing the water. This is about me chilling out and hopefully you get a bit of chilling out done too. I'm gonna to hit this tree behind me if I'm not careful. <laughs> so I'm saying bye for now. My name is Susan Jane, I am the intuitist. My um, website is intuitivenature.com.au, Australian based business. And um, I now have online courses to help. And they're practical courses. They're not, oh, you've got to sit and meditate. These are practical courses on developing your intuition. Practical, hands-on courses. Uh, the first lot, Intuitive Flowers, is all about your goals, your goals in life. Now, we, we create goals in life. Now, I should be talking about this. I'll have to tell you about that one a bit later. But we create goals in life without taking into consideration our emotions towards those goals. And because we do that, when we receive the goals, we don't feel so good. So take that on board. Um, so Susan Jane, the intuitist at intuitivenature.com.au. I will say bye for now. And um, I've got other things I need to talk about. But enjoy this beautiful float through the Corumban Creek. It's lovely. Enjoy. Bye for now.